Back to our top story. A mother is locked up sitting in a jail cell in Henderson County. She's charged with attempted murder after law enforcement says she threw her seven week old daughter down a 75 foot ravine. That's 35 year old Krista Madden. She made her first court appearance today in Henderson County. Her bond set at $750,000. Here is the baby, baby Shaylee. And last night, Asheville police and Henderson County deputies spent hours searching for her after they say her mother claimed two masked people kidnapped them both in her car and she managed to get away. And in today, investigators said that Krista lied about the kidnapping. A lot of people question the story from the beginning. They believe Krista acted alone. There were never two masked individuals. And they say she's the one who threw Shaylee down that 75-foot ravine in Henderson County. This is where a nurse found the baby down that ravine. Courtney Fowler told us she heard the baby crying, initially thinking it was an animal. Investigators say it's a miracle Fowler and her family found Shaylee alive. And to give you more perspective where all of this happened, a 911 caller reported the kidnapping initially from 14 Dearborn Street in Asheville. The mom's car was found along Grant Mountain Road in Henderson County, and the baby was found about two and a half miles away on Slick Rock Road, also in Henderson. County. Asheville police say Madden told investigators she and Shaley had been abducted by two people wearing masks yesterday afternoon. And at a news conference today, officials said they had no reason to believe any of that was true. By the grace of God that uh, we're standing here with a with a child that's that's been discovered and is alive. A seven week old baby named Shaley found alive after Henderson County deputies believe her mother, 35 year old Krista Madden, threw her over an embankment and into a ravine. It was at least 50. I'm estimating 75 foot. A 75 foot drop in her car seat. We went back to that location to get a closer look at just how isolated and rugged it is. Cheryl Fowler, who lives on the property, tells us what she heard last night. I heard about crying and it was very loud. Well, I listened for about five minutes and when it didn't quiet down, I called my daughter at home and told her, I said, Courtney, come down here. There's some, somewhere there's a baby down here in the woods or something. Moments later, her husband Scott spotted the baby. He went down into the ravine to show us where. He found some reading glasses that they're turning over to authorities in case they're connected to the case. He came up with the baby. She quit crying immediately after he picked her up. There was no more crying. It was a little girl, best I could tell, and uh, dressed in pink. But she fell out of her baby chair against a rock, bumped her head, and she was skin up a little. She was wet, hungry, cold, and banged up, but otherwise in good shape. Deputies say her car seat likely saved baby Shaley's life. When the child was discovered, uh, the child was out of the car seat. Uh, however, all our, the indications lead us to believe that the child went over the bank in the car seat uh, after it hit the ground. Subsequently, the child rolled out of the car seat. And the Fowlers say they credit God with leading them straight to Shaley. I can't imagine any human being discarding a child like a piece of garbage. So that's very heartbreaking to me. Could have been a different story. The baby could have been found or maybe not ever found or maybe a bad situation where it fell in there and got killed. Oh, it was so fortunate they found her and baby Shaley was admitted to the hospital and is said to be in good condition. Buncombe County Department of Social Services is investigating.